Elizabeth was old in age. She worked faithfully for the Lord, yet she did not have a baby. But she kept the faith and stayed the course. And God blessed her eventually, for eventually, with a baby boy named John. I dare you to stay the course because your eventually is going to come. Uh, I dare you to shout eventually. I dare you to shout eventually. Keep that word in your feet. Eventually, your breakthrough is going to come. We saw him last week, Joseph and Mary took on a very difficult assignment, but they kept their faith and produced greatness. You got to make your mind up. There's greatness inside of you. And if you keep the faith and stay the course, everything God promised you will be manifested. Everything God promised you, if you keep the faith and stay the course, everything God promised you will be manifested. This word manifested simply means it will come to a visual appearance. Everything God promised you will eventually come to a visible appearance. You will see it if you stay the course. You will experience it if you stay the course. You will live it if you stay the course. Every time you put in a destination on your GPS, it will give you an arrival time. And if you stay the course, you will eventually arrive at your destination at that time. Don't get weary in the faith. You may have to take a detour. You may have to yield every now and then. You may get to a red light or a stop sign. But keep the faith. You will get to your destination. I wish I had three crazy people in this house that were jealous. I'm on my way somewhere and I'm going to keep the call. I will not be sidetracked by what I see right now. I, I, may, I may be on my way to, to a paradise, but I see woods right now. I see wildlife right now. I see a desert right now. I see a drought right now. I see battle right now. But that's not my destination. So I'm not going to stop in the desert. I'm not going to stop at the wasteland. That's I'm just passing through. Make my mind up. Yep. That if God says there's greatness, I'm going to get to my greatness. Yep. If I stay the course. Yep. Oh, just, oh, God. Can I stay the course? Stand with me again and turn your Bibles to the book of Matthew, chapter 1. Matthew, chapter 1. Stand with me, don't be lazy. Matthew chapter 1. How you gonna fight for the faith? You, you won't get up. Faith comes by here, here by the word of God. You won't get on the word of God. You wanna fight for the faith. Most of us are defeated because we've already defeated our mindset. We, we have become lazy warriors. We, we have become so satisfied with being comfortable that we refuse to wrestle in the faith. You should be so hungry right now to get the word of God yes, that you made your mind yes, up that whatever I went through in 17, 18, and 19 was only my battleground of my preseason to get to my 2020 breakthrough. And nothing's going to stop me from getting what God has for me. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, 22, and 23, she will give birth to a son. And you shall name him Jesus. The Lord is salvation. For he will save his people from their sins. All this happened, watch this. All this happened in order to fulfill what the Lord has spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Behold the virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being translated means God with us. Take your seat and declare all this happened in order to fulfill what the Lord has spoken. 
I can face your shout. It had to happen because God said it would happen. Oh, you can face your shout. It had to happen because God said it would happen. Oh, you can face your shout. It, it had to happen because God said it would happen. And if it would not have happened, then I couldn't believe anything else God said. So it had to happen because God said it would happen. But many of you are what the Lord had spoken. In America, there's a tug of war and a conflict right now. Yes, it is proven back December 25th is not the birth of Jesus. Wrong season, shepherds don't graze sheep in the world. But don't get caught up on December 25th. Matter of fact, December 25th is my natural father, Sammy, that can see his birthday. That's my daddy's birthday, December 25th. My Jesus, I don't know what day he was born, but I know one thing for certain. He was born. Okay. And because he was born, it fulfills prophecy. And the prophecy was that he would be born so I can believe in everything God said. I don't care if I know if reindeers can fly through the Bible. Don't mention reindeers to the Bible. A Lord and Savior came to save his people. Don't let the world trip you up. I said, well, ain't no flying reindeers. And there's no way he was born on the 25th. So what? He was born. Yeah. And that's the only fact I'm hooked up on. He was born. You can't keep me out of faith by telling me about December 25th. I agree with you. That's in Africa. The Bible does not say that. Go ahead, sir. The Bible does not say December 25th. So why are you debating what the Bible don't say? Yeah. The Bible says he was born. Yeah. Because Jesus was born to a virgin mother. Come on. Just as the word of God said he would be, give me and you full confidence that everything God said about our future will be manifested. And every promise in God's word concerning us will be fulfilled. Because Jesus was born through a virgin birth that gives you and I full confidence that every word of God, every promise of God will be manifested in your life. I dare you right now to think about the last thing God told you and shout right now, it belongs to me. It's my house, it's my car, it's my happiness, it's my salvation, it's my healing, it's my deliverance, it's my prosperity, it's my peace, it's my breakthrough. Everything God promised me belongs to me. That's the sum of it, all of it. All of it, all of it. The birth of Jesus kicked off a powerful cycle. A turn of events. Because he was born. He was able to go to Calvary. Because he was born, he was able to go to Calvary and pay the price of my sins. If he was not born, he could not make it to Calvary. If he don't make the Calvary, I'm stuck with all my mistakes. If he don't get the Calvary, I'm stuck with the penalty and the burdens of my messed up, jacked up past. But because he was born, he went to the cross. And because he went to the cross, he paid the price for my sins and your sins. Tell God thank you. And because he was born, he went to the cross. And because he went to the cross, he went to the grave. Oh, 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 why am I happy about him going to the grave? Let me tell you about the greenhouse story. Because I had a little baby girl named Genesis, she was born. And the greenhouse not here because she was born, it's here because she died. Because when she died, God birthed his misery into existence. When Jesus was born, he was born to die, to birth praise into existence between you and I. Oh, you didn't miss that right there. I didn't understand when she died, why she died, until years later, and God, she was born to encourage you to live. Jesus went to the cross 
to go to the grave so on the very day he would get up with resurrection power so you and I who would be empowered by the Holy Spirit and can declare I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me that's why he was born that's why he died so when he got up on the third day you and I can declare I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me shout right there I can I can stay the course When you add it all up, yes. it's about you being positioned yes. to win. Yes. Jesus came yes. so you and I could win. Yes. Yes. Oh, he came so you and I could win. Yes. Yes. It didn't always look like that. Sometimes it don't look like you're winning. Sometimes it don't feel like you're winning. But you got to stay the course. And keep walking by faith. And you keep walking by faith, you'll look up one day and you'll see you walking in the manifestation of every promise God made you. You'll look up one day and realize I'm no longer where I was. I'm no longer sick. I'm no longer mad. I'm no longer sad. I'm no longer broke. I'm no longer. You'll look up one day and you'll stay the course and keep walking by faith. You'll look up one day. I'm in, I'm in the end zone. I'm in the faith zone. I'm in the manifestation zone. God has a special plan yes, he does. and purpose for you. Yes, he does. But you must stay the course yes. and keep the faith. Yeah. And stop looking at someone else's show. That's right. There, 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 are, there are some people who will contact me in private about blessing them in private. Because they were ashamed of who would see them being blessed. I look at it differently. I want you to see every season of my life. I may go this year receiving a gift, but next year I'll be giving a gift. And I want you to see the whole story. I want you to see how far God has brought me. So I'm not worried about if you're looking at me or not. I'm walking by faith. I'm walking by faith. I'm staying up for it. If I keep walking by faith, I will land in my place of manifestation because the Bible must be fulfilled. My days, I'm not going to be here long. I'm coming out of this. Stand with me one more time. Stand again. Luke chapter 2. All that was introduction. I know you ain't leaving, but you want gifts. And the text was born yesterday, so I ain't in no rush. That's right. Cowboys don't matter. They're going to heaven. So I can stay right here. Luke chapter 2. I think it was beautiful. Three second laugh break. Just laugh out loud. 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 Come on, laugh out loud, really. Let's have a laugh contest. Over here. Laugh out loud. Laugh, laugh, laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Look, laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Oh, laugh out loud. Come on, laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. The reason I ask is because the devil has dried up your life. You have allowed a lack of this, a lack of that to make you dry up. Open your mouth and laugh sometimes. The Bible says this is the day the Lord has made. I will choose to rejoice. Now, Luke chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. While they were there, so you gonna be there. While they were there in Bethlehem. The time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Take your seats for the final three points. Watch this. Stay course. Her journey was an 80, watch this, an 80 mile track. Imagine a pregnant woman 
about to go in labor, ride a donkey or a horse for 80 long miles. She stayed the course. No matter how uncomfortable the course was. Oh, you, you missed this. You missed this. The course was uncomfortable. 80 mile track, either horse or donkey, and she's pregnant in the last stage of her pregnancy. Going labor any time on a donkey. Okay. Funny story, I told you about my daughter Jesus, right? Funny story, my wife was pregnant and, and I had just bought her a, a brand new white Cadillac and, and we, we were riding and she had a surprise birthday party and she was pregnant and she was, you know, pretty women that have attitude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cause I, I could imagine how Joker was feeling this pretty woman on the back of this donkey. Yeah. I could imagine she was calling him all kind of names. So, so, so we, we, were, we were on our way to a surprise birthday party for my wife and she was pregnant and, and she was uncomfortable and she got so mad we were going on, on, on 45 birthday just let me out right here. <laughs> In a brand new Cadillac, on which the surprise birthday party said, let me out right here. You being mean to me. Yeah. So I can imagine what Joseph was going through. Uh -huh. An 80 mile track with a pregnant woman on the door. Yeah. I'm sure Mary was like, just leave me right here in the desert. But so we got to keep pressing on. So I say, press on. It may be uncomfortable. It may be difficult. But if you press on, you will get there. Because the Bible says they got there to Bethlehem. You and, I'm going to get real that. Well, we got to surprise birthday party, right? It went in our house, at somebody else's house. We got there. I ain't going in. I went in. So the sister went and got out the car and she said, Happy birthday! And tears broke down her eyes. She was so excited and happy. But what if I would have really pulled over on the bill weighing 45 and let her out? She would have never got to the destination. What I'm telling you right now is too many of you have stopped at 45 and the bill weighing got out. Yeah. When God has a prize waiting on you, all right, you can say. God has a prize waiting on you because you got out and you stopped the journey because it was uncomfortable because you got mad or you were bitter some kind of way. Don't let your bitterness stop you from your manifestation. The devil will trick you with your bitterness. You better stay the course. Number two, it says the time came I'm trying to rush it. The time came. The time came. Oh, I dare somebody in here holding and holler. My time is coming. My time is coming. My time is coming. My time of breakthrough is coming. My time of release is coming. My time of devastation is coming. My time of increase. Whatever God promised me, whatever God told me, my last point really blew me away. She gave birth to a son, comma, her firstborn. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you, don't, you don't know when to shout. Firstborn means it won't stop right there. Firstborn means there's more to come. Well, I dare you to tell your wildest dream. I dare you to tell your biggest fantasy. I dare you to tell your vision. This is just the beginning stage. When God blesses with this, there's more to come. When God gives us that, there's more. I dare you to be so hungry in your faith and the past. When God blessed me this time, that's not my final blessing. This is my next blessing. I dare somebody right now. And the that. The this and the that. But 
that these clothes look so tight, I do a dance right now. The this and the that dance. The this and the that dance. My this is different than your this, and my dad is different than your dad, but we gon' get to the this and the that. Yeah, but give me give me give me give me this and that. We gon' get to the this and the that. Thank you. 